Hey everyone, I'm Jake, and this is the third devlog for my multiplayer FPS game. I started off this run by getting started on the leaderboard system. I set up the basics of the UI, which, like any other leaderboard you've probably seen in the shooter, would display the player's name as well as their kills and deaths. At this point, all of the UI for the game is all placeholder, but I'll get around to making it look good later. I then jumped into Visual Studio Code and started laying down the groundwork. I pretty much needed to create a function that would take in a player name, a kill amount and a death amount as arguments, and then set the text elements on the leaderboard to match the local player stats. I then called the setDetails function through the player controller script, and this was the outcome. After that was working, I needed to implement the most important part of a leaderboard, sorting the list of players from highest kills to lowest. This wasn't too hard to do. I pretty much created a private list of player info, which is a class I created to, well, hold player information, and all I did from that was loop through all of the players in the match, get their kill stat, and check if it's highest compared to everyone else in the match, and then display them on the leaderboard in that order. Currently this function is being called over the server every time a player gets a kill or dies, so the UI can update appropriately. Now that the leaderboards were all pretty much finished up for now, I decided to work on a little map selection menu so the players could choose what map they play on before the game starts. Not including the quick grey box map I made in the first devlog, I have two maps currently. The Sinti test scene, which won't be in the final game, and Crash Site, which is the map I've been showing off in this video. The UI I set up for the map selection was fairly simple. On the left, it shows all the players in the lobby. In the middle is the list of maps, and on the right is a little image and description of the map. Once the host has decided what map they'd like to play, all players in the lobby will be loaded into that map, and the match will begin. But that's all for this devlog. If you like what you saw, give the video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and leave your feedback in the comments. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.